Hello guys, uh, today we are going to show you how to set up a high flow monitoring on an Altiva process drive. As you can see, we have an Altiva 630 demo kit. So the first thing to do would be to go to complete settings and uh, check uh, the system uh, defined system unit of the drive uh, for the flow rate. So at the moment it's set to 0 0.1 meter cube per hour. Uh, you can set it to any other value based on uh, on uh, on what is the type of the sensor that you are using, the flow sensor that you will be using. Uh, now going back, uh, going to pressure monitoring. Scroll all the way down, select um, high flow monitoring. So as you can see that uh, we have already activated this um, by default to a yes. Um, so now. Uh, we can go into the AI2 sensor configuration and see and define the type of, uh, of the input that will be coming to the drive uh, from the flow sensor. So by default, it is selected to as a voltage. You can change it to a current. Um, now we need to define the lowest process and the highest process. This is, basically, this is the range of the flow sensor that you will be using, the maximum range of the flow sensor. So if your flow sensor range is, um, is 100 meter cube per hour, uh, in that case, uh, you will need to uh, set the AI2 highest process to 1000. The reason why we have selected 1000 is based on the defined system SI unit, which was 0 0.1 meter cube per hour. So if we want a range of 100 meter cube per hour, then we need to multiply the, uh, the 100 by a factor of 10 to get 1000. So this is how we have selected the AA2 highest process. Now going back, uh, we can set a um, threshold level for the maximum maximum flow. So it, we can we can go into the high flow maximum level and set it uh, to 30 or a 50 meter cube per hour. Let's see. We can also define the error delay time, the error response times. Now going back uh, to the display section of the drive. Application parameters. Now you can actually see that uh, the installation flow value is, uh, is being shown over here. Uh, so if we increase or decrease uh, our um, uh, our uh, feedback uh, of the flow sensor that is coming to the drive through AI2, we can actually uh, see that the value is changing on the screen of the drive. Uh, so it's going up to a maximum of 100 meter cube per hour as we defined. Now um, uh, checking how, how the error will be triggered once the drive is in the run condition, we will uh, we'll apply a run command to the drive. As you can see, the status of the drive is, uh, is acceleration and it will. So now we will gradually increase the, the flow uh, sensor uh, feedback that is coming to the drive. And uh, as you can see, as soon as it crosses the level of 50, the red LED will start blinking. This is a warning uh, that the flow uh, feedback has exceeded beyond the set threshold and uh, the drive will uh, come to a ramp stop and trip with the with the high high flow monitoring error so thank you thank you very much for watching our video